welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi welcome i'm lizette and today i can finally <laughs> do the comparison of my two josephine wool dresses the whole reason that i started working on this one which is sagittarius from diamond art club from josephine wool was that i wanted to compare her to this one which is Joie de Vivre from Diamond Painting Deutschland. This one has 220 colors and it's framed. And this was my big challenge. Uh, <laughs> I only had done a couple of diamond paintings and then I started doing this monster project. 220 colors and I absolutely love it. But after that, I was wondering, okay guys, so we used 220 colors. Is that actually needed to have a great rendering? Or will it suffice to have less colors? And then Diamond Art Club, they have the license for Josephine Wall as well. And they do the zodiac signs as well. So you have the zodiac signs. You also have these at Diamond Painting Deutschland in way more colors. Um, but these are hand charted and the Diamond Painting Deutschland ones are computer charted. This one, this particular painting had the dress that resembles the dress from Joie de Vivre most, I, I thought. So this is the one from Diamond Painting Deutschland and this is the one from Diamond Art Club. A great difference not only does do they have less colors the Diamond Art Club but they do have AB drills. In the Diamond Painting Deutschland version there are no AB drills. That's important to know because a lot of you like and love your AB drills. So here in the dress, all the white areas, those are all ABs. And here with the flowers, those are all ABs. So I think, and the swirls, I think they did an amazing job with that. But here, of course, because there are a lot of more, more colors, you get more detail and more shading, I think. Look, you see, this is more crisp and that was a term that someone said to me when I was like, okay, what do you think about the difference between DAC rendering and Diamond Painting Deutschland rendering? This is more subtle and soft and I personally prefer this style because it's more like the actual painting and this one is more an interpretation of the painting but <laughs> there's one very important thing guys to work on that or that well that's a quite a no-brainer if you just want to Relax and diamond paint and have a beautiful diamond painting in the end. Go for Diamond Art Club. Really, I would really recommend that because it's poured glue. Uh, so it's really easy to handle the canvas. The quality of the drills is superb and um, it's really easy to work on. Yes, it's confetti heavy. Confetti heavy means that you have a lot of color changes in a small area. So you can't use a lot of multi-placing. Multi-placing is that you uh, put multiple drills on the canvas at once. Um, and in this one, you can use line blocking. And line blocking, guys, is multi-place multiple drills in a line. Like for instance here, you can use a 10 placer to put these in. Um, when you're working on a diamond painting Deutschland, uh, First of all, it's double-sided adhesive, so it's a 
different kind of canvas. It isn't as forgiving, so you need to be a bit careful uh, when you're working on it. I used to hang this canvas on a hanger each time I had worked on it, so that was a bit of a hassle. Um, just to make sure that there weren't any uh, creases or things in there that would damage the, the canvas. Also, the symbol clarity on this one wasn't the best. I have heard that they have upped their game and that it's easier to watch them right now, but I couldn't work on this without a light pad. Absolutely impossible for me. And the amount of confetti in this part was really insane. And in the entire diamond painting, even in this part, because you're like, oh, well, that's, that's, but look, it's all kind of different shades of blue and light blue. So even in this part, I think I have used a four placer twice. Okay, maybe three times. That's it. And in this one, I could use my multiplacer. So this is far more relaxing. And if you're just doing the diamond painting, just to relax and have a beautiful one in, in the end, go for that one. If you really want to challenge yourself and just that was the whole reason that I did this one was like, okay, I want to try and do a 220 color, then this is your thing. But this isn't uh, relaxing. This is relaxing. And then the end result. Okay, the end result for me, but that's just a personal thing. I personally love the end result of this one. I think it's um, a bit blurry, it's a bit more artistic, it's really soft, really soft tones. Um, so it worked out great. I also love this one, but for me, this one is a little bit too um, crisp. This is more like a coloring page for me, and the other one like an actual painting. Does that make sense? And guys, in the dress, I think we have got like... Also, the, the, the types of colors that they use. Look, these are whites and um, AB drills and then the darker swirls. And here it's more used as shading. And of course, if you want to have a real great comparison, you should do this one from Diamond Painting Deutschland as well. Um, but guys, if you want to see a perfect comparison from start to finish from in the same painting, you need to go and watch the series that um, uh, Katie from Diamonds and Washi did. She did Spirit of Flight from Diamond Painting Deutschland as well as Diamond Art Club. And she did the same painting uh, twice, so from each company. Well, wow, <laughs> what an epic uh, project that was. Uh, that's not for me. <laughs> I want to do different projects each time and that's why I wanted to compare these dresses. And guys, now I have another comparison to make because as it turns out, right now I'm working on a blank canvas from Heaven and Earth Designs. And that is Mini Lucky. And look guys, I think it's this fairy, because look, she has the purple face and the wings. Only she's in another position. And guys, the name Mini Lucky, this one is Joie de Vivre. But the wings, this is what the 220 colors looks like. But guys, mini lucky, those wings are 90 colors. So I want to compare that as well. So then I have got a 61 color from Diamond Art Club hand rendered, a 220 color Diamond Painting Deutschland and a 90 color Heaven and Earth Designs. 
So, <laughs> let's just keep on comparing. But the blank canvas project is going to take me a while, guys. I'm going to take my time because I need to count. And, uh, well, guys, I would really love to know what your feelings are about this. Do you agree with me? What's your take on it? Have you worked on uh, a Josephine wall from one of these companies? But I would really love to know and I would love to know what you think about it. So guys, I hope you found this information useful and you loved my comparison video. I love making it for you. And guys, these are just my personal preferences. If you want to have a more objective comparison between the two companies with all the background information, go and watch uh, Katie's playlist. I'll put a link uh, to that playlist in the description below. So you can go check out her project. It's amazing. And well, all the other videos on Katie's channel are amazing as well. I really love her channel. And um, well, guys, if you like this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And I hope you'll follow along on my next Josephine Wall project or maybe one of my other projects. And thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys!